bacon, popcorn. I'm going to show you that you can make popcorn in a different way. I just want to briefly mention that bacon. Here is, in my opinion, the reason why bacon is done so well in restaurants. It's always cooked so evenly, and that's because it's cooked in the oven on a sheet tray. Typically on a sheet tray, instead of doing it on a pan, it's just way easier. And also, this is going to allow us to do what I want to do for the popcorn today. So it's imperative that I put it on a tray into the oven. This oven's at 400. Oh, also, uh, there's no parchment on this. You could do parchment if you want. I don't really do parchment, but yeah, parchment if you want. It's going into a 400 degree oven. So you want to keep an eye on it, set a timer for around eight minutes and then check back. Now, why bacon fat? And also fat, while we're on the subject. Fat, this is duck fat. This is clarified butter. This is you coming out of the fridge. I just want to talk about why you should use certain fats for popping popcorn and also just for popping any type of grain. I might be wrong, grain, seed, I space. Is popcorn a grain? I forget. Anyways, for popping popcorn and like barley and rice, all that stuff. Uh, set a timer for five minutes. That's for the bacon. Um, okay, so uh, fat and why for this? You can use oil, but it has to be a high smoke point oil. So I would say like a canola or a rice oil, anything that has a smoke point that is above 400 because for popping popcorn, you wanna be between 350 and 400, anything more than that, then the popcorn, then the corn, the popped corn is gonna burn. So anyways, bacon fat. It's got a smoke point of around 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Duck fat, it's like above 400. Beef fat, same thing. You get the point. So use a fat that has a good smoke point and also tastes good. Bacon fat also tastes good because it's got all the flavorings from the bacon. It's pork, it's fucking delicious. Duck fat would be good. Clarified butter would be good. Any sort of fat, that's fat. We're just talking about. This is how I like my bacon. Just like a little bit of sog and a little bit of crunch. That's how I like my bacon. But I gotta cook it a little longer to get that fat. And also, majority of people like their bacon cooked like this anyways. Anyways, look at this. See all that fat? You can save it or you can use it for your popcorn. We're just gonna drain it straight into our popcorn pots. And yes, you're gonna wanna utilize a pot for your popcorn. You'll see why right now. Right now, I'm just checking the temperature because like I said before, I want it to be around 350 degrees Fahrenheit because that's my ideal. Because ideally I want it to be at around 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, to test if your temperature is up to temp, the, the single popcorn test. You could take a little, little, little corn and toss it in, maybe two. And then uh, once your, your single kernel pops, that's how you pretty much know it's ready to go. So now at this point, I'm just going to toss in enough to cover the surface area. Uh, that's probably good. And then cover it, but not fully cover it. We still want a little like steam vent. And every now and then we got to give it a little shake just to make sure it gets like equally lubricated. It doesn't stick and burn and all that stuff. I used to make popcorn most nights at one of our restaurants. We had popcorn at the bar. So um, I used to do this in a big pot. We didn't have a popcorn machine. I can turn the heat off and just let that residual heat sort of continue the cook. Also a beauty of using a cast iron pot is um, that heat is gonna be equal. It just holds heat better, so you're gonna have a better heat. There we go. That smells like freaking bacon. Oh my God, look at all that bacon fat. I just had an idea to uh, put actual bacon pieces into the popcorn, why not?
Okay. Bacon fat, popcorn. Let's try it. It's not like insanely bacon flavor, but you can sort of get it. I think if I were to add a little more salt, it would come out more. Yep, just needs more salt. Just like with anything, if you wanna bring that flavor up, just add more seasoning, whether it's sugar or salt. Anyways, I just wanna show you the bacon popcorn. I saw it on the internet, I thought I should try it. Pretty good. Use different fats for your popcorn. It's really easy to make. Remember, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'll see you in the next one.